Remembering a friend, a classmate, and a teammate. First at 10, a local high school community saying goodbye to a football player who was shot and killed in Santan Valley. ABC 15's Ashley Holden heard from those who knew that teen well and are pushing Pinell County officials for more details in this case. He was a once in a lifetime person to me. To friends and classmates, 17 year old Jameer Jenkins was just that. The way he impacted my whole family and carved his role into my family will never be forgotten. Friends speaking out publicly for the first time, many describing Jameer as driven, confident, impacting others with just a smile. Saying goodbye so early in life was something I never imagined. Late last month, the teen was at a park in the Cambria neighborhood in Santan Valley when he was shot and killed. The Pinell County Sheriff's Office quickly making an arrest. Hours later, the suspect also 17. And I want to thank you guys all for gathering here today to celebrate the life of Jameer Jenkins. Combs High School holding a vigil for the junior Wednesday, marking the second the school has held within the last month and a half. Preston Lord, who was assaulted at a Halloween party in Queen Creek and later died, was also a classmate. We're told Jameer was very involved here at Combs. Football, a big part of that Wednesday. Coaches and teammates speaking in honor of the 17 year old. Jameer was a high character young man. He was courageous, generous, gracious, respectful, and loyal. And I'll forever love, love him deep in my heart for more than just a teammate on the football team. His teammates and also school staff sharing stories through tears with Jameer's jersey right beside them. The scoreboard displaying his number 10. The contagiousness, excitement, and happiness you brought to life made my high school memories truly unforgettable. Family also at the event, surrounded by support, many saying they won't forget the teen's impact. Jameer, you may be gone from our sight, but you were never gone from our hearts. Wednesday, we reached out to the Pinell County Attorney's Office to ask questions about next steps in the case, but they didn't have any updates at this time. In Santan Valley, Ashley Holton, ABC 15, Arizona.